Yo, what up, homies? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be simplifying our addresses. Now, as you know, we're going to be needing addresses. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new file right here. We're going to create a new file. Go to new item. And make sure this is in your source files. And name it it's Addies. So let's go, guys. This music is kind of making me go faster with this stuff, if you know what I mean. Addies.h. Now, this is where going to be all your addresses are. Now, we're going to be using the same includes in this folder here. Exact the same. I know that's crazy, but we're not, probably not going to be using the same because we don't need to use any of that. We need to win them each. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be creating it all into a const. So, no, 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 no. Const. No. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, yeah, guys, I'm becoming weird. So, this is okay. Const auto extern extern fine guys is crazy but i'm kidding so anyways uh we're gonna be using an monkey we're gonna be putting in the address so print address equals zero x nine six eight nine six zero there we go so this is gonna be our address define extern print convention the is going to be the same so and we're using copying that same thing but make sure your address is no because we don't have anything to put in right now so copy that copy that like four times then second we put spawn uh no what wait wait then the second thing we're gonna put is task scheduler now we're gonna need this for the schedulers and etc. So we're gonna go down there. Ooh, oh, I forgot that. See that, guys? I sometimes forget. So we need this for basic execution. So this is for basic execution, and this is for some other stuff. So after that, we're gonna go here and type in. Uh, this enter done with that. We're gonna type in loop. Lua state address. This is the task schedule address. Why did it error me? It's because of this. Yeah. Yeah, I should not probably put that. So task schedule address and then Lua state. Lua state convention. This actually does not have one, so I'm gonna skip that. And then after that, we got Lua new thread. So new thread address. So we're almost done guys. New red convention. So now we're gonna put these on the bottom which has no convention. Now we have print important, we have new bread important, we still need Lua you load. Now what this does, it, this is the main cause, this is the reason why you guys are alive in this universe. Deserialize address. So deserialize convention. So make sure to do that. Uh just like that. So now we're technically done, guys. Yeah, that's crazy. We're done a bit faster than usual. So task defer. Yeah, we probably got everything. We're probably gonna need another address called Lua T type names. So go here. This has no convention by the way. Actually it does. So we're gonna put in the non-important addresses. This is called Type names address and then put in type names convention. So that's it, guys. We're done. We're done with this part. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm probably gonna record it in the next video, but so this is this is called setting up our addresses. Now, these are the real um, RD. thank you for my homies for giving me these addresses without him i would be nothing so these are already rebased just to let you guys know these are already rebased if you guys are trying to rebase these you're that's like that's like eating shit so you guys probably don't want to do that so let's go here all right so now guys we're gonna get the string so obviously all these need a module to go into so we're doing define uh module uh okay this so this is this already exists and we're gonna put it in 
rbx module and then we're gonna put in as reinterpret cast and then we're gonna put in dork actually we're just gonna put in zero and then get module handle no there we go guys what the hell was it then we're gonna now gonna oh shoot we still gotta do this uh i'm sure i'm gonna put like a flow or something